the area that I'd hoped they wouldn't come for. And they came for it. Although he seems quite happy to leave me with Lubeck, so... Hmm. When the Europeans strike back, they strike hard. Bridge Overlord says we have faith. I wish I was in my truck. I could be fighting this a lot better though. I've been playing so sloppy since I came in today. quite separated though. If I could strike them hard enough and fast enough, I could make a good solid comeback. That might just be a fallacy, but it's one I want to believe in. The way they were able to hold out for so long almost brings me to tears. Mm, what's he trying to do? If I catch him here, I could easily take care of the 13 stack, whereas he's probably going to be reinforcing that stack up there. So if I split my two forces and help both, that might work out for the better. No, they all, uh, they all sorted themselves out, so they'd be getting there at the same time. River crossing penalty for me. Let's just see what he does then. He's going to be marching up to Sopron. Oh, okay. Seventy-seven and a forty. Hmm. Let's throw ourselves face first into danger again. Because what is longevity? Yeah, we 
we've got a 7 to their 8, but crunch to our troops. This just isn't a war that we're going to come out of on top. Oh, mind you. Aragon's been doing their job. Again, the Pope is just that bit too big to be one shot. End the vassalization of Denmark, Hungary, Lithuania, and Bohemia. How about no? I'd become your protector, though. How does that sound? Yeah, that's all my manpower drained. I hate to sound like a dobby downer after one war gone bad, but this grinds that world conquest to a halt. Because if I can't penetrate the HRE, I think God knows what France would do to me. Unfortunately, they got rid of the uh, the way that you can just offer loads of gold to get out of a war. It gives them minus 1,000 once concessions other than gold. So, like, even if I gave them a few bits of land and a ton of gold, they'd still be like, nah, dude, don't want the gold. Now, here's the joke of it. If I offered them what they wanted and loads of gold, oh, they would say yes. They'd say no, unless they get exactly what they want, and then the gold. So that is troublesome. DDR Jake, improve abysmal to prestige. I believe it's uh, recover abysmal prestige. Indeed, my personal prestige is an all-time low here. All from breaking truce on the Hansa. Austria defended them as part of the HRE. Austria called in their friends. Bavaria, Sweden and Castile together. They stomped me silly. Not turning this war around is an impossibility. But even if I did... It's cost me a lot of time and a lot of manpower that could have been put to good work. Really what I should have done is when I had the advantage in the war with... Uh, well, in that first war with Castile and friends, I should have turned my attention to Austria and forced them to annul their alliances. If I just completely covered Austria, gotten rid of their alliances, then I could have continued my rampage across the HRE. Not doing that has proven to be a very costly mistake. What can I do then? 
I could look to piece out individual people who are causing me a lot of trouble. Bavaria in particular is certainly giving me a ton of it. Alright, let's try this from a different approach. Jake, what do Castle wa Castile want now? They want me to uh, end the vassalage of, well, pretty much Europe. That's too big a thing to give up. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's try and rise like a phoenix here. Get a mini school man a war score from sinking their ships as well. Because I don't care for your ships, Austria. Austria themselves, quite close to peace. So basically everyone's quite close to peace except for Castile, because Castile holds, holds all the, uh, the war score. Marching myself through attrition that I really don't have to be doing. But I bet I could get you out of this war. Uh, hold on. I thought I already had these blockades in place. Oh, well, once I do get them in place. I can get rid of a certain Hanseatic nuisance, who the entire war was for, but let's ignore that for a second. Let's get you docked up in Hinterpommer, it's a good easy place to remember. And then let's start thinking about our friends. Now, has Castile actually been dedicating any troops here? I don't think they can, because they can't get through, uh, they can't get through all this. And as for the Pope, his friends are France, Catalonia, Mantua, and Hansa. Okay, right, I'm getting pumped. Let's turn this around. Let's turn this the hell around. <coughs> Jake, watch out, is that a huge uh, fleet in Sweden? That is the French fleet. Alright, let's get pumped for this. You're both led by guys. Let's actually move you out there and press on. Proceed. The Pope still wants peace. The Pope shall have no such peace. Now this 33 stack will be acting as a decoy. You can try moving to Graz all you want. It's not going to work. Not on me. Onwards. Let's turn this horrible situation around. Mm, I want to engage in that. But you know what? Austria can help. Uh, Ottomans can help out their own troops. It's going to take 17 to get you out of this war, but maybe I can convince you otherwise. Alright, at least now I can see a bit of your army. Doesn't matter if we lose a few of you, you're like lemmings. Onwards and upwards. There we go. You hold them off in those mountains. Loot the bugger and get him out of my war. 